I'm on my way to meet one of my favourite British contemporary artists, Cornelia Parker. And since she started out in the 80s, she's really become known for creating these memorable poetic installations out of quite mundane objects which have been transformed via violent means, like exploding a garden shed, famously, or steamrollering silver plate. And she's got a new book, a very personal overview of her career, which is going to be published towards the end of the month. And she'll be speaking at the Hay Literary Festival about the book, as well as her work. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you. How are you doing? Good. Now I can already see there's lots of examples of work around, but also this, which I'm assuming is the model for your new show. Yes, which is happening in about three weeks' time. My assistant Sam built this model for me and made little facsimiles of the works that I'm going to have in the show. This is a little black puddle. <laughs> <laughs> so I poured some um, cold cure rubber, which is like a mole making. Uh, material onto the street and when it dried I picked the puddle up. <laughs> this is what the space a, a puddle would occupy and then I've had that cast in bronze at this foundry in um, Limehouse and so that will be a black bronze puddle and it will sit upon pins so you might trip over the puddle. And it came from some couple of earlier pieces which are also being made at the foundry. What I've done is um, cast the cracks in the street. This is from Bunhill Fields um, which is in the city of London, it's where William Blake's buried. I, I walked this thoroughfare many times with my daughter on the way to her primary school and we'd always play Don't Step on the Cracks. <laughs> <laughs> Having pounded the streets so much in the last few years, you know, this obsession with the cracks, I felt it needed to be manifested physically as a physical object. And what about some of these other, the pictures which we have on the wall? There's a row of 12 photographs I took of Pentonville Prison wall. Driving past the Pentonville Prison, I noticed they were filling all the cracks in the walls. And I loved all the way that the builders had been, you know, making these kind of abstract expressionist works. <laughs> <laughs> Without thought, realizing. Yeah, and I thought, I must bring a good camera and record them. And then one day I was driving past and they were painting it magnolia paint over it all. So I jumped out the car, got my iPhone out, and you know, just snap the entire wall. So and this is a series based just on pictures taken on your phone? Yes. I've got a picture, uh, this is a monograph that's just coming out any yeah. day now. Um, let's see if there's some more at the back. Ah. Yeah, so these are, so they look like mother well or really tapirs do. or Clifford Steele. Particularly painters. the way that you haven't I manipulated haven't this at no, all, no, no. it's just you took a picture on these, the iPhone. These, these are took with, you know, they really are you know, me grabbing them as I went by. But you do get this weird, inadvertent, sort of gestural spontaneity about well, it. Thought, and formally, it's quite pleasing, isn't I it? Thought I thought formally, I couldn't bet better that. And I love the <laughs> fact that these are abstract expressionist works done by builders on a prison wall. Yeah. What's really exciting about it is that um, later that day, the day I captured the, the cracks, <laughs> uh, a prisoner escaped from the prison over the wall. So I called it um, um, Prison Wall Abstract, A Man Escaped. Everything looks a bit like minimalism, <laughs> but they're not, you know, they're, they're cracks in the streets or they're bullets. So I've had actually two factories <laughs> help me make some meltdown bullets. So, so sorry, this, it, this, this is, is made of bullets. So they've melted down a whole load of bullets. Another factory did that, that they melted down the bullets and they drew it into quite, uh, extruded it into quite a thick coil. And then I sent this to the small factory who produced wire and they drew it, it's called drawing, so they dr it? draw it through, automated through a draw plate which has holes in it and they, it keeps going through finer and finer holes until it gets the gauge you want it to be. So there's approximately a bullet's worth of lead in each drawing. So, so you get this grid, it's a kind of formal device and what happens when you have a sight and a gun, sometimes they have two grids that snap together that, so you, and then when they, they've, they've meshed that you know you're on target. But I just thought it's quite interesting to load up this minimalism with something like a bullet. A gunshot is like a split second, and it's perhaps it's a violent death or end or whatever. But then, you know, to draw it out, calculating a gunshot in a way. Do you uh, feel like this is, um, in a way, it's a sort of typical Cornelia Parker aesthetic? Because in lots of your work, you have a sense of violence, which is either latent, but then has yeah. been captured and crystallised. Or formalised, yeah. Formalised. Yeah. So there's a sort of the chaos of the violence versus mm. the control of the form of the yes. piece. Yes. These themes seem to be um, reinforcing themselves all the time without me even thinking about it. I, I, I just follow that 
uh, you know, map that intuition and go with it, really. And, um, and somehow through the process, you know, something like this, it's really nice to have time to think about those things when you're doing it. Well, thank you for showing me around the studio. And I'm looking forward to the show. For people who can't make the show, there's also the book. Yeah. When's that coming out? Um, it's, it's out at the end of May. I mean, it's just being launched softly. And then at my show on the 6th of June, it will be you know, the proper launch. And you're also speaking at Hay at the Literary Festival. I am. <laughs> Do you remember when? 25th. 25th. 25th of May. Well, thank you very much indeed. Good luck with it all. Well, Can't wait you. to see the finished show.